Hi Stampers, this is Kathleen. Welcome to my YouTube channel and today's card. For today's masculine card, I decided to combine a couple of techniques. I'm going to be using this weaving of the designer series paper. I'm going to be cutting this out with a thinlet and I'm going to be cutting out the um, flower and the fern with a thinlet die also. This is the new thinlet set that is part of the Botanical Builder stamp set, which you would find in the Occasions catalog from Stampin' Up. This catalog is good from January till May 31st. And um, let me pull this out so you can see a little bit better. This is the whole spread of everything. So we have a stamp set here. And then we have the matching framelit dies here. We also have some designer series paper, some embellishments, some washing tape. And so it's a really great suite of products. It also matches one of the items that our coordinating items go to it in our new celebration catalog also. And that is this Just For You stamp set, which I'm using on the interior. And there's also some matching of uh, vellum that um, coordinates with the designer series paper that goes with this. But for today's card, I decided to use the designer series paper from the Going Places stack. And that's this one right here. It's in the same occasions catalog. So let's get started. What we're gonna need today um, to make our card is we're going to use, I'll come back a little bit, we're going to use a piece of basic black. It's four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. We have two pieces, a white and a black, that are four and a quarter by five and a half. And then we have our inside piece, and this is three and three quarters by five and a half. You will need um, an additional piece of Whisper White cardstock, and I'll show you how to determine the size of this one because it's going to vary from card to card. Then you will also need um, designer series paper, and I, you want your paper to all blend together. So I chose these three um, designs for um, to use for my weaving paper weaving that we're going to be doing on here, and these are um, one half inch wide by six inches long, and so we'll get started with that. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is to take a piece of our white cardstock, and I'm going to be adhering these down temporarily with Hermafix. Hermafix is a temporary adhesive. Stampin' Up! used to sell it, but they no longer do. Um, but you can pick it up at any um, craft supply store. It's also called Dotto. And what it does is when you use it, it lays down a series of little dots that are repositionable so that when you, if you put something where you don't want it, you just rub on the card and those dots go away and so you don't have any adhesive left. So we're just going to go ahead and get started putting down our strips of paper. So the first thing, I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive in the corners and then just lay it down. By putting the adhesive there will allow it to stay while I'm working on the project um, and so that I at least will be able to weave and it will stay put. So it's just putting them down as close to each other as you want or as far away as you want. It just becomes your personal preference of how you lay down the cardstock. Now, what you're going to do is, at this point, 
You're just going to manipulate them back and forth, make sure that everything is really straight, and then with a permanent adhesive, you would just pick up the strip, apply your permanent adhesive, and put it down so that all the strips are adhered to your white cardstock. And so this is what we end up with when it's all down and tight. Okay. <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is I'm going to take the die and what I want to achieve is I want this cut out of the white and then I want the black and then we want the die in between to be able to cut this out. Okay. And it took a while of me messing around with this to understand how this die actually works. And what I finally did is I made a mark on it with my Sharpie marker so that I would always remember. So the side with the little dots or the little holes punched out of it, that side of this is the side that cuts. The whole part from here to here removes it. This side with the large openings in it, this side will stay. So what I mean is when we put these two together like this, and cut this out, then this black piece will, um, you will have a, a black piece and then you will have this. So what I'm going to go do, and I know it can be kind of confusing until you actually cut it. So what I'm going to do is take this over. I'm going to just position this on my cardstock the way I want it and decide exactly where to put a little more glue under this piece because it seems to not want to stay tight. Okay, so what I'm going to do is decide where exactly it is that I want this to be cut off and I'm going to put it right here. And now, and I'm, a, I'm going to cut through both pieces at the same time. That way I know that when I layer them together that they will all fit exactly right. So now I'm going to take this over to the Big Shot and I'm going to cut it out and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back from cutting this out with my Big Shot and the what I used was the multi-purpose platform with both tabs. Then I used my precision cutting plate and I used a cutting pad on top. And what I have found over time of cutting these things out, that when I'm cutting multiple layers, sometimes a thinlet is difficult to go through all those layers of cardstock. So I run it back and forth in this direction, and then I turn it on my pan on the plate, and I run it back and forth this direction. And by turning it allows the rollers to hit at different areas on the die, and it cuts better. So now what we're going to do is we'll just take off our post-it paper and then we'll take off the die and then this part we're not going to want this part here this can just be discarded for another time and then we're going to be using this part of the basic black move that up to the side and then all we have to do are just punch out these little areas on the fern and you can see this just comes out really easily and um, it cuts out quite well even though there's multiple layers because we're cutting through all of the designer series paper the white and the black cardstock now, if you have some edges that are sticking up, and you will, probably will because there isn't any glue in the center, now would be the time you can just lift them up. You can apply your glue and then put them back down, and then they won't move around on you. And now what you're going to do is just hook these together, just like that. Okay. So what I decided, um, because I wanted... This is going to be put on a piece of basic black cardstock as my basic card. If you just put it on, you cannot see where those cutouts are. 
So what I chose to do is to take a piece of white cardstock, and this is where I was telling you, I can't tell you how wide this is going to be because it totally depends on the angle of your fern. But what you need is a piece of white that's going to go behind and that every part of the design will be covered up. So you just have to measure your cardstock so that it goes from this edge here to this edge here and then you know that you will have that white area below. Okay, so this we will go ahead and we're going to hook these together. So what the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to adhere the back of this card to here. So I'm just going to take my snail adhesive and when you put this down and then I can also go ahead and put some adhesive on here also. So then you just want to make sure that they're that they fit together, that everything is in nice and tight. And then you'll just take your white cardstock and you'll just put it down so that those areas are covered. And now when you turn it over, this is now acts as one piece of cardstock and you'll be able to see all of the little frond areas that we cut out. So we're just going to put a little bit of glue to hook that down. Okay, now there is a little bit of where this card stock, the white, was just a little bit larger or longer than the black. So I'm just going to trim off the difference. Okay, so there's the front of our card. Really, really simple. So now what you'll do is you'll take your black cardstock and you're going to just fold it on the score lines. And then you will adhere this to the design or to the card like this. Then for the inside of the card, I took my just for you stamp and I'm going to stamp it up with the Hello Honey ink. And this is a big stamp with a lot of surface to apply ink to it. So it's again, it's really important when you're working like this with a really big stamp. You first of all, you want to apply your ink. You want to turn it over and look at it. Make sure that all of it is uniformly inked. And then we're just going to put it down on our card and let it sit for a moment so it has that opportunity for that ink to absorb into the cardstock. Just like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So then this piece will be mounted on the inside of our card. And then what we'll be doing on the outside of the card is be putting down our flower and I cut this out of the same DSP that we used for the stripes or for the weaving and then it just brings, um, it coordinates and makes everything tied together a little bit better. Then we'll put our fern on like this. I took a basic black button and ran some white baker's twine through it and that will be mounted here. And then I took a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I stamped happy birthday on it and all we will do is just trim this down and I'm going to go ahead and make a banner and one of the ways that I do that is I just cut down the center and then I cut from the point to that edge that I cut down to so then you get this nice tail on the end and that will be slipped right under here. So here's our finished card. I really hope you'll give this technique a try. It was really very simple and easy to do, a little time consuming because of the papers moving around, but all in all, really, really easy. And I just love how that new die coordinates and pulls all of this together. Thanks for tuning in, and I really appreciate you joining me for today's video tutorial. Be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and 
Click the thumbs up if you're enjoying this. Thank you so much. Bye for now. <laughs>